Okay, finally, let's summarize what we have discussed in this、uh, class about、uh, um, the evaluation criteria, how that、uh, provides our insight in the learning process and、uh, our discussion about the noise. So, as we understood, learning is to find some hypothesis approximate some unknown function. And therefore, we need to evaluate the difference between two functions, and this boils down to evaluate the point-wise difference between the the output of the functions and、uh, average this or summarize this over the entire data space, because summarizing that over the entire data space is generally not viable. We therefore rely on the evaluation on the training data, and the hope is that the The in sample error we evaluated on the training samples will approximate the desirable, not the desirable, the the the, the golden standard of the out of sample generalization error. And if if this is the case, the in sample error checks out sample error, and we will be able to select some hypothesis from the family that minimizes <coughs> the in sample error. Then learning is done. So、um, we have this、uh, abstract discussion、uh, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a take-home、uh, message. I'd like to give you a very specific example. Consider if our target is to learn、uh, how the water condition,、um, <coughs> sorry, is for fish life, and we have two attributes. See,、um, this is just an example. The oxygen. Density and the temperature in the、uh, concentration, oxygen concentration, and temperature in the water, and how that means for fish life. See if the fish has its、uh, preference.、Um, this is the region where、uh, you have a high concentration of oxygen and uh, uh, some some cooler temperature, and the fish is happy when the、um, oxygen. Uh, goes uh, uh, down and the temperature is cool. It's okay, but when temperature is high and the、uh, the the oxygen is not sufficient, then fish dies. But this true condition is unknown to us. This is something like a target function in the two dimensional oxygen concentration and the temperature、uh, landscape. This is unavailable. What we can do、um, is to formalize some hypothesis. For example, we can have a linear model and see: okay, there is a line that cuts the landscape of、uh, oxygen concentration and the temperature. In this region, the fish is happy, and the other on the other、uh, side of the region, fish dies. And、uh, we want to know how this. Hypothesis of、um, fish life with respect to the condition compares with the ground truth, because our hypothesis will not be accurate. We would expect there are some discrepancies between our、uh, hypothesis and the ground truth. But the problem is this is、uh, the golden standard, which is a、uh, sample error. But the problem is, this outstand out of sample error is not directly available to us. This is because we don't know the underlying the the ground truth function. <clears throat> of course, if we know, we won't be here for、uh, engaging the learning in the first place. It's not we、uh, we cannot evaluate everywhere on the data space, and we don't know、uh, the data space. Uh, the the distribution of the data space anyway. What we can do if we want to given <coughs> some hypothesis, some parameters of the linear model that is aligned, what we can do to evaluate hypothesis. There, of course, we send testers to the water, to the pond, and we test the samples.、Uh, <coughs> we test the Fish, li-、uh, fish life in those samples. Sorry for some fishes, unfortunately. And 
we will measure how fish、uh, lives in these different conditions, and hopefully this will reflect the the true relationship between the conditions characterized by the oxygen density and the temperature and the fish condition. This is like we are given the chance of、um, peeking into the unknown relationship, the unknown target function using some、uh, masked, some mask with some holes in on the mask, and we will compare this observation、uh, <coughs> with our hypothesis, and we can find. Maybe for some of the sample, our hypothesis predict some way, but in reality, it's the other way. Therefore, we know our hypothesis is not a hundred percent accurate. But how accurate it is, how it um um, <clears throat> how it performs with respect to、uh, comparing to the ground truth, we have this mirror. We have this in sample mirror. And we know what we need to keep in mind is that this in-sample error is not the exact out-sample error. We really want to evaluate our hypothesis, but this is all we have. We have to rely on this. And there is a discrepancy of the error. That's a, an error on the error measurement. The, for example, if in this case the in sample error is zero point two, if the out sample error of the the linear hypothesis is zero point two two, we will underestimate the out sample error by two percent. So we need to keep in mind this risk of learning. That is one essence we need to deliver in this、uh, this lecture. The next topic we considered in the lecture is noise, which means, given the exact same x, the output may not be the same. That is very often in practice because in practice the characterization of the condition may not reflect the all the complexity in reality. For example, in the previous example,、uh, this is a sport example we have discussed. In the previous example, maybe the water contains some other chemicals. We haven't we haven't measured、um, is something not seized, not captured by the information、uh, in the in the oxygen concentration and the temperature, which also affects fish life. So we as as the data in the data modeling process, we need to、uh, consider all such factors as noise. Therefore, given the x, rather than having some target function deterministic f x, now we consider the target follows some distribution. Given an x, it's、uh, it's、uh, distributed in the target space. Alternatively, we can think target function、uh, the the y follows there is some target function and there is some noise that is not. <coughs> uh, 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 the information is not embedded in the in the、uh, x <coughs> observation, and with this in mind, we change the, the framework of learning a little bit. So、uh, we add some distribution of y here, and the unknown distribution of x、uh, generates x samples, and the unknown distribution of y the noise. Contributes also to this joint distribution of x and y. Then the learning becomes <coughs> in this way.、Um, there are two kinds of randomness. We need to. We want to model the randomness given x with some x conditional x. How the y will distribute, and we take the alternative view that the target function we want to approximate.、Uh, Captures all the information in, embedded in in the observation x about the target value y, and for the other part that are noise that are independent of the given x, 
and the input distribu distribution Px gives us an uh, give us the focus of the learning, where where on the data space we need our model. The for example the op optimal hypothesis needs to approximate the 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 the, the, the act. Well, with a code here, the target function that is um, giving x the relationship between the x and the target value y. Although it might be, de uh, we, 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 we might be forced to use the deterministic relationship to approximate a stochastic relationship between x and y. We will um, look into some more sophisticated data models and then we come back to the learning framework and uh, try to understand the, the profound ramifications of uh, the stochastic framework we discussed here.